Tomorrow is March 1st, the date Governor Whitmer wanted all school districts to offer some sort of in-person learning option. But it hasn't happened in all districts in Metro Detroit. Victor Williams got a group of parents together to talk about what they think is best for their kids. He joins us with more. While these parents are saying that what the governor said about the return to in-person learning by March 1st is at least a step in the right direction, but they're saying they want much more. Giving that advice and that guidance is definitely a great stride from where we were a few months ago. Parents from school districts all over the state of Michigan can agree with the governor. They're more than ready for the in-person learning to resume at schools, but... We'd like to, to see more uh, strength in that rather than just a kind request to get our schools back in, in open uh, full time face to face. These parents are saying it's been rough watching the effects not physically being in the school has taken on their children. I have a, a five year old special needs daughter who all summer long would put on her book bag and go to the front door and ask for her bus driver to take her to school. Watching what the school closures are doing to all of our children of all ages, um, frankly, just scares me. Yet some say the emotional stress is the biggest cause of concern. We currently have a student, teenage student, and this has taken a toll on her so dif dis desperately that she has tried to attempt to end her life twice now. Now they're urging Governor Whitmer to take more action while it can still be done. And we just need to get them back into to what they're used to, what's been proven to be best for our children. Now, we did reach out to the governor to get some type of comment on this, but with today being Sunday, we have yet to hear anything back from her office. On top of that, there is a rally being organized by these parents set to be done on March the 6th. That's a Saturday, so of course, we'll be there. Victor Williams, Local 4.